most helpful things that you can be doing to maximize football performance is fueling appropriately. So making sure you're not over hydrating or you're not overeating leading into a game. And some great resources are out there. Um, so one that springs to mind is Jess Spenlove's Game Day ebook, um, where she really talks about and provides some recipes, easy to make recipes, both from a preparation point of view, but also some strategies that you can do on game day uh, to ensure that you've got plenty of energy and you're fit and firing. So definitely check out her Instagram and, and uh, hit up her DMs for that ebook. Um, but some real basic ones we want to think about is making sure that you're thinking of what you're eating and having and working back from your game day. Your timing is also important. So that's the ingredient side, the timing perspective, work back from the game. You want to make sure that your final snack is, you know, around two hours before the game day. So if that might be when you arrive to the ground uh, and then from then on, you're, you're mainly just focusing on keeping yourself hydrated and you're not having, having anything that's going to make you feel heavy um, because you may have experienced that before. If you ate too close to the game or you eat something that's really heavy, uh, like a high protein, high fat meal, uh, that can affect your um, performance for the first half. So timing is really important as well. Um, from a hydration point of view, I think more often than not, footballers can actually overdrink, particularly the day of the game. So uh, you you want to make sure that you're keeping consistent to your, your hydration. Have a drink bottle and, and know how much fluids you should be taking compared to, for what your height is and then what your body mass is. Uh, and there's some great resources out there. So research for what your height is, what your body mass is, and then start to practice that in the practice matches to making sure that you're um, – getting the right amount of hydration leading into a game. Water is key uh, leading leading up to the game, but also your electrolytes, particularly we lose a lot of salts um, when we sweat. So making sure that you're getting in your sodium and you're getting in your um, potassium, magnesium, and all the rest of the electrolytes to make sure that you're able to have that energy and you're well replenished throughout the game. Uh, low on confidence, obviously not having your consistent games under your belt, you're getting into your routine so confidence can be key remember confidence comes from competency so focus on your routine make sure you're you're not only working on your weaknesses but you're also sharpening your strengths during the week time is limited in, in an in-season schedule to do this so make sure the quality and the focus of work the purpose of what you're doing is really really high so know the things the deficits in your game that are going to um take out your confidence, but also work on the things that you're really good at, um, that when you do well and, and perform well on game day is going to boost your confidence. So confidence comes from competency. Focus on your routine. Focus on the things that you need to do to get better, but also the things that um, really shine and, and make you know what you're already are strong at. Make sure you're working on those strengths as well. Motivation is another common problem. Uh, so motivation coming into in season, particularly straight after a game, if you've lost, motivation can be down for maybe that night. And and if you don't um, get back on the horse and focus on your routine, it can linger until your um, next training session, uh, which might be seventy two hours later. So motivation comes from purpose. So making sure that you're really clear on why you're playing. It might be for fun. It might be for connection with your mates. Uh, it might be for to to uh, work on your being the best that you can be. Whatever your goal is, um, write it down, have it somewhere in your bedroom, and that's your focus. So motivation comes from being really clear on our purpose. So be clear on your purpose. Have a process during the week as well that you're disciplined with, and motivation will come. Um, that's something that we, you know, it's transient. It's normal to feel unmotivated and then other times feel super energized and motivated. The key is to be consistent um, with your process and with your routine so you're really well prepared for the upcoming game. Whereas if we um, wait for motivation to come and you're not doing the things that you need to do, then that can last uh, a lot longer than uh, 12 hours. So make sure you, you get into your routine 